Some bad performances from Barca over the last few weeks. That first half was a new low, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Bear in mind who they were playing against, and it could have been a lot lower. I mean, those boos were for 1-0. Mm. But you saw by those highlights there, the youngster Sammer, who got the, the only goal of the first half, it, it, it quite easily could have been three. And not only that, at the other end, Alaves goalkeeper really had very little to do. Uh, it did get better in the second half, but once again, the bar was very, very low. These so are good players, Craig. Yeah, they are good players. You know, and, and yeah, OK, you don't want Gundogan playing as deep as he is, but then Frankie de Jong's not, not playing. He is floating about with a back three, and Arujo started on the right, and Kunde was more in the middle. That got swapped around. There's no Baldi in the side. Cancelo's playing on the opposite side. I mean, it's a little bit overcomplicated at the moment, I think, for what they need, particularly against uh, a team like Alaves at home. I don't think you really need to be doing that. You get Cancelo at right back, you get Baldi at left back, and then you figure out the rest from there. I think Lewandowski's doing Kunde a favour by saying it was a great ball in. Mm. It was an average ball in, and it was an absolutely terrific header. Yeah. Uh, he's not... His game is... His game's having to change. His general all-round game now, Lewandowski, is not what it was, right? And he's in his 30s, and he can't do what he once did, you know, right down the channels and all the link-up play. But he, he, he saw it by his motions. He, want, he just needs better quality into the box, and he's still got that instinct uh, in the final third. And if, he can, if they can get that back and keep him fit and get him back on form again, then they've got a chance. But without him, they're not without him in form mm. and fit, and they're supplying them. They're not going to win this league. They haven't got enough goals around the rest of the team, I don't think. Uh, Luis, there aren't many players, are there, in the world that could pull off that sort of header? No, not many. I have to tell you. The, the, the timing is perfect. The movement is perfect. At some point, kind of, even he's not bothered about that ball. He looks down. Uh, just trying to defend his players a little bit from what we've seen. At half-time, I told them to stay calm. And if we played our football, we would come back. The players are more tense than all because of everything being generated around the team. And it's not fair. It's not fair because there have been injuries and players coming back. We have to be self-critical as well, but it's, not, it's normal that we don't see the players at their best because they don't feel liberated. Oh, boo-hoo. It's not fair. <laughs> I mean, we, is this an under-12 team? I mean, come on, you're Barcelona. <laughs> You know when you join Barcelona and you pull that strip on, there's, there's an expectation of a certain level of performance. We all understand that you can't win every time, right? But there has to be a level of, of, of performance. And they are not even close to it. And for him to come out and say it's not fair, oh... But is this, is this trying to protect his young players? I think he's trying to protect them all and he's just he's looking to take the pressure off them. Right. And he's, he's basically asking everybody to leave them alone is yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. But as I said, are you serious? You, yeah. you, you said it earlier, look, this is a good team with good players. They, they, they have to perform and they certainly can't get away with, with producing what they did, particularly in that first half. Well, he's almost like saying, you know, the youngsters are learning and they're good players and they, they are some... I mean... Pedro's back fit again as a youngster, but he's a very experienced youngster, isn't he? You know what I mean? It's like Fermin Lopez is getting some game time and played well in the Clásico. Uh, Lamin Yamal is obviously very, very young, but he's preferred him to Rafinha at times when Rafinha's, Rafinha's been fit and available. But he's almost like saying, just lay off the youngsters and forget about my tactics. <laughs> you know, they just lay off the youngsters yeah. and forget about the fact I'm playing the three at the back, I'm playing... Cancelo on the left-hand side. I'm playing this way, you know, and, and that's a big deal in terms of how he's setting his team up. I mean, we talked about it just, uh, I think it was before the uh, Atleti game, you know, completely outplayed by, I mean, played well in the classical yeah. and then crumbled. Crumbled at the end and lost. Were hopeless last week and were really bailed out against uh, Real Sociedad when they were totally outplayed. Lost in the Champions League against Shakhtar Donetsk. And here should have been 3 0 at half down. Yeah. So it's great Lewandowski's getting his goals again, but it, has, it is doing nothing at the moment but papering over the cracks that he's going to have to figure out. And, and that's his job. Xavi's job is to put the pieces of the puzzle together in a way that it, that it fits. Yeah. So when he's playing people out of position and trying this and trying that, that tells you that he's not quite sure where to put the majority of his players, really. Uh, and Luis, you played for Barcelona. I get a feeling that the media won't go, you know what, Xavi's right, we just need to lay off this team for a while. <laughs>
No, not at all. Not at all. At the end, we all understand that when you play for one of the biggest teams in, in the world, you, and the guys have, have done it, uh, you know that he comes uh, with the job, that the pressure is going to be there, the critics, uh, they're going to be there. They're going to be waiting for you to fail. They're going to be waiting for you to not play well, not only for the players, but also for the managers. And we can see that everywhere. Uh, but it's totally true that that's what in, in the side of the manager try to change that, how try to bring the the criticism on himself and try to diverse a little bit uh, uh, against who do you point your anger or how, who do you point your criticism. So I think that this team is a very young team and we've been talking about Gabi, about Pedri, that they have played already 100 games, but they are 19 and 20 and they have been in actually very good moments. Jamal arrived to Barcelona and everything looks very good. Fermin scored two, two fantastic goals and everything looks everything very nice. But when the problems arrive is when these young players can crumble and can start feeling that pressure that it is to play for Barcelona. So that's why I think that uh, Xavi is trying to diverse that, changing the lyrics and trying to change that to a positive side. He's going to get it. No, I'm sure not because at the end, journalists are there to talk about what is happening on the field. And on the field, there is a lot of things that need to be changed. For a man who was, what, in Japan, in where, Colombia as well, in the US, uh, Luis, it's international break. Where are you going to go this time? Uh, actually, I'm going to Poland next weekend. So of course you are. My, my <laughs> <talk to you laughs> <from now. laughs> 